What's good, YouTube? We already know we back with part two of DDG video, bro. So it was some good questions in this video, so I really want to continue this and uh, just make this a part two. So really, let's get back into it. Um, hope y'all enjoy part one. You know, welcome to part two, man. So let's get to this thing. It's been... I'm trying to get to the the question about To. So they've been taking forever. It was a To question. There was somebody else, like something about a YouTuber or something. But, uh, That's why I like about you with YouTube. You don't really give a fuck. Nobody got to say. You just do that shit because you trying to get your bread. Hello, on this shit get ugly. In the wood, writing raps. Nigga play, he make it clap. No handshakes, ain't giving down. Tell I run up a million, I can't relax. Only me showing up my feet spikes. Don't pop so you don't deserve me. Smoke a little weed, but this shit a little hurt me. Baby, slow it down, no, I won't let you hurt me. Came a long way, can't let you deserve me. 2019, I was a scholar. 2024, I'm chasing a dollar. Don't care about no Gucci, don't care about no. The, the biggest friend stiller. He stole baby rich Chino Pooty tied a guy charging the straight to Shay from you. You had Skylar first, then he stole him. Derek and Baby Rich's friend, then Dub stole him. Damo was Chino's friend, then he stole him. He Dang. stole George, Aries, and Jason Go. Can Dub make his old friends first? We always steal everybody else's. Bro, I'm just the coolest. I, I think people meet cool and then they meet me and I'm the coolest. I mean, to be fair. I didn't know Derek before him. This nigga don't even be, this nigga don't answer the phone, bro. So this nigga probably just be like, damn, we just call this I nigga. do answer the phone. It's just, I don't know why people be scared to call me. People be scared to call. If I don't answer the phone, then I'm either mentally thinking about something that I don't have time to talk to you because I'm focused on my thoughts. Or I'm like doing something, doing something busy. But usually I answer the phone, especially for my homies. And for money, <laughs> talking about some money, and every time, he can't call, no matter what can be, but the way I answer. What's the most you made on YouTube in a month? Um, it was crazy, it was, I think it was January 2021 or 22, the day we, we were doing like a TT watch, something about TT watch, I can't remember, that was that day, I think I made like 167, and I was doing my podcast too, it was like, 167 in January, so I got it February 22nd. That was my biggest check. Who was it? The most I made just strictly YouTube. I, I don't know. If I compare everything, then I'm, you know it was up there. I would say the most I made just strictly YouTube was like close to 300. Just YouTube? And that's when I was streaming, vlogging, my clips was going crazy. The vlogs, I was vlogging every day too. 300? But I didn't get no rest, you know? I was really working, grinding type see, shit. See, that's the thing, that's the difference between me. I think I can make a lot of money, I just enjoy my free time. Like, I'd be like, I can work every other day and make, you know, 80, 100, and then I'd be like, I'm cool. But I could literally, if I worked every single day and put at least 18 hours a day into work, I think I can clear a cool three. I'd be bigger than what I am. I just like, I just enjoy my free time. Yeah. Going to the gym and shit, like, I just enjoy it. If Dub called you a, a bitch, are you swinging? And if so, who winning? Nah, we probably just argue. The only time we ever fought is because he started it. He initiated it. I'm never a problem starter. This nigga always <laughs> want to argue and shit. He was arguing in Japan about the dumbest thing. Oh my god, bro. So I know how Britney is, bro. I was really mad at this nigga Skyler for not getting out of the fucking car. Like, why do you want to be in the car with a nigga I'm arguing with? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? That's what I was in my mind thinking. He the type of nigga like, if he if you argue with him and everybody together, he want everybody to go with him. And no. I know for a fact, if I'm arguing, if that's that was wrong, a situation, man. it was Damo and they gonna be like, yeah, let me just get out of the car. It ain't no beef or anything. I'm like, why the fuck do you want to sit in the car with this nigga? Maybe that nigga wanted to film for me, bro. <laughs> yes, yeah. That shit was pissing me off so bad. No <laughs> yeah, one of those niggas, niggas bro. Talk to this nigga, nigga just be trying to be neutral. Nigga just be trying to argue. He was arguing shit. about, well, I forgot, it was about... Not being able to fit in the Uber and call another one or something, bro. Japan was just funny. How's life being single? Oh! For 
for me, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like, people probably don't believe that I'm, like, single because they'd be like, I got the door closed, walk in here. But people probably don't believe me that, like, bro, it's just, like, a different, like, you don't have to think about nobody, bro. But when you really got a kid and you just think about your kid, it just makes everything better. Like, I don't care about anybody's feelings, like a girl's feelings at all. I just care about mine. Because it's like, bro, it got, the number one, I mean, money is cool, but to be happy is better, bro. Like, yeah. to wake up and just be happy is better. That's what I tell the people. Happiness is way better than money. That's yeah. fast, like, bro. Just wake up and be... Bro, I ain't gonna lie, that's fast, bro, because I've been... Y'all understand, like, I can't even tell y'all the situation but one. You know, we get to them, yeah, I'm going to do a story time. Well, not. I'm going to do a Q&A story time. I don't know, but I'm going to basically tell y'all why I feel like that, bro. You know, happy, being happy is just so much better. I swear, like, it's a good feeling, bro. Like, oh, happy my God. Happy just talking on the phone, smiling and shit. Because when you angry, you got some mental shit going on. Everything piss you off, nigga. I remember I was arguing one day. I made me some breakfast, made me some pancakes, sausage, eggs, bacon. Got me some little fries, baked that shit, put that shit right. I in the feel car. like uh. Open the drawer and had no syrup. Brittany should have left in anyway, bro. Dog don't <laughs> seem like a yeah, good man. Bro. Like hungry. yes, he can. He got the money, but the store it was like a. It was just you can tell that everything been off, bro. bro. And overweight dog. And if y'all look at uh, her YouTube, she seemed a lot happier, bro. Smiley and everything, bro. So, I understand. I think it was like two months, three, four months ago. No problem. Like Stretch me out. I'm talking about I was heated. Imagine you made some food with just no syrup. Nigga, I do breathe. You, you, nigga the shit was it's already a, done. I'm going to go microwave this. It's a grocery store, literally, around the corner. Ah, uh, I think it was 11. Girl, that problem, bro. Oh, sick. But I was, if I, if I was, like, happy, I would have been like, oh, shit, man. Be, you know how niggas be finding out. That's how inventions are made. Niggas be happy just figuring out some shit. I wonder how you would be if you started smoking. I can't do it, bro. I'm always in my head, nigga, so that I feel like weed messed up my head. It messed up my head. I'll probably start firing on niggas and shit. I think it, I mean, when I, I don't know. Smoking for me, I smoke just for, to enjoy music, really, that shit. And you listen to music a lot, nigga. If you smoke and listen to your favorite songs, you're going to hear it every it lyric, every too. drum, every clap in that bitch, everything. It just make music better. That's my main reason to smoke it. I don't smoke for stress reasons or nothing. It's just like when I get in the car, I want to listen to my music and I want to. Love that's it. Facts, I remember T.O. used to be like, bro, I smoke if I get angry. Like, nigga, what? <laughs> I do chill you out. That, that, that's a good segue to the next question. Jim, would y'all ever forgive Pay Way T.O.? Okay, that got a question. Me, yeah, I just was, I, I was just like, if the, what I said to T.O. was what I said in his face. Like, I'm like, Tevin is like more street. He has more street. Like, if we was going about points, I was like, he has more street credit than you or street points to you then they got mad and i was like nigga that's like me saying that tony snail is a better player than than luca like it's obvious that they both in the nba but this nigga luca is a fucking wait is that one now what you i can pick i said like man ted more streeter than you oh that's what you said to him i was just playing i didn't even say it to him i said it in the video but i said it to him before and it was just like it's i don't care what t.o did or what Tevin did. This nigga Tevin been to jail six times. Six years. He didn't shy at niggas. He got caught with pistols. He was shot people, sold drugs, uh, scammed. It's like, hey, with T.O., you know, y'all was in the streets, but this nigga is, was literally doing shit. Like, who cares about being a hood anyway? That's kind of like idiotic to win this in the environment that we at. But then again, who cares about being level 500 on Call of Duty? It's kind of the same thing. It's like maybe T.O. for like, he prestige three. Yeah. You tell him Tevin is prestige five. He's like, nigga, I've been, I've been on rebirth catching bodies for months, and you over here yeah. trying to say another nigga got a better KD than me? But, uh, nigga, I'm, I'm, my thing was, nigga, we're, we're not in that anymore. So you can talk about stuff that you're not in. Yeah. It's like me being a little 
unravel coax cable. Yeah. You can't get jealous of Sweden, you know what I mean? You're in California. You're living in a fucking high-rise apartment. And you still talking about some streets. Well, I mean, I don't know. I haven't talked to you in a minute. Yeah, I ain't talked to you in a minute either, but... I've seen him. That's what I'm saying. That's the last time I, I haven't talked to him, but... Yeah, no. Nah, That's um, I already forgave T.O. in my head. He just... I don't know. That nigga, he probably cared more than I do. I don't care. But we did we... We didn't say some mean stuff to each other. Like, whatever was said on the internet was real, but that was like five. Damn, they said something on the internet what too. What the fuck we had say when the camera come off? So we didn't got in some really deep arguments. Um. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So the situation where DJ Diddy John was doing that little, uh, I thought it was fake. Kid you not, I thought it was fake. But tell me a bit when that situation happened. So basically the situation happened was DDG's was I thought it was a skit going a skit going on or whatnot and basically he kicked TR off of the thing. But he did that to everybody. But something happened between him and TO and then after that situation I never seen them like having a conversation anymore. I never seen TO them around, so I was confused about that, though. Because at the end of the day, you know, yeah, like, it's really not that deep. I always had the best interest for Terrell. Like, I'm T.O. I forget. I mean, I don't have nothing forgettable about I can never say nothing. Yeah, I don't give a damn. Me and Dejan fought. Who cares, but It's like it's, it's family shit. But, you know, that nigga know he can call me whenever. He probably just... I got a problem with them or something. Is there any like upcoming YouTubers that you watch? Cause you know, like all these new niggas, they 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 watch us. Um, they know about us. I, to be honest, I don't really watch. Oh, to be honest, hundred percent honest, I don't watch other content creators because I don't want to steal their ideas or think like, oh, let me do stuff like this. So, I be honest, I don't watch a lot of people, but I do watch Canelo Joseph. Uh, you know, ever since Jimmy on stop that nigga. Uh, Cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to watch it. I stop. Uh, I watch a lot of. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I kind of want to talk about that too a little bit, man. Peaks. Peak on it. I tell y'all, I, I fuck with. Um, I'm not into streaming. Like I'm not into watching streamers. I, I watch clips or see it on Twitch. I mean, on TikTok, but I'm not into watching streamers. It's because you have to watch it. Like, you have to sit down and watch it. That's why I don't go to the movies, because I like pausing and going and doing something else. Like, I don't go to the movies because I like... Like, say if I'm watching a movie, I'll be like, oh, let me get up and go uh, pee real quick. Then yeah. I sit on my phone for like five hours. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, but you just put it, I'll be watching them too. Yeah, I like Quan. I seen a video on TikTok and he said like he used to watch my shit and it kind of inspired him. But I like his videos. It kind of remind me of myself. Yeah, I like the little... This nigga got... This nigga got hella fucking cars, buddy. This nigga got a channel, bro. Oh my God, bro. I seen it. I was just on a rabbit hole, bro. This nigga got a channel where all he does is drive at night, bro. Get a million... Imagine, nigga, imagine hopping in your car, right? You could probably do this. You should try it. Nigga, imagine hopping in your car, driving for an hour with a GoPro on your chest. You don't show your face at all, and that bitch get a million views. Because the nigga watching it right now want the car. So he going he gonna to see how it is when you drive. I think about movie babies. That's why I'm saying, like, a lot of people That's that don't crazy. even feel like their life is boring, y'all niggas crazy. Yo, there's somebody else that's watching and doing a goddamn thing. They ain't doing a goddamn thing, but you doing something. Life's just interesting for uh, a lot of people. First, this nigga named Jamani that I'll be watching, but I don't know why. This nigga named Jamani, he got a gambling problem. He like broke. And all he do is go to the gamble, go to the casino, lose his money, and go on the internet and be like crying and shit. <laughs> Bro, matter of fact, you ever seen the video? I gotta look with that one. Day? CBS and the nigga was running through the shit and knocked everything you see. And I'm probably in the world seeing seen that video. It was him. And then Impossible Runs. I like that nigga too. Oh, I think he talking about that. I think I know what he's talking um, about. I watch him too. Like, creator wise, Riley. I don't know 
gonna say the same thing. A hundred percent. I ain't gonna lie, Riley. If Riley would have just did it a little different, if she ain't had like her, you know, uh, feminine brother or whatever, and then the boyfriend got him. Wait, she would have yeah, been. I did forget. I she, forgot about her brother. And shit. If she just would have paused out, she, Riley, Riley probably would have fell off by now, but she probably would have been at least two, three million. Nah, I think she would have been that. You gotta think about it. She would be like, if you look at, if you look at her like. What she did? Who is? That? What she look like? I look like at all these people, like, bro. I'm a little This better. is just being real. Skin tone, nigga, curly hair. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, yeah. and you're a great creator. It's like you really got a layup. Yeah, Riley. Was, and she was working hard. Riley was really like the goat, bro. Like out of everybody that I like, so everybody was great. Oh, that was one of the people that did it like, this time. This motherfucker uploaded more than me. Damn, rude, my dog, but that probably was... Nah, him and Bree had it for the worst. You said they was the worst? Yeah. I mean, but Bree was... Bree was... She had her own, like, niche basketball. You know what I mean? Yeah, but then she didn't incorporate it as much into yeah. the videos. Yeah, it was more so, like, lifestyle shit. It's because everybody was looking at me as, like, the... The guy. You know what I mean? Like, it was like... Shit, not Riley, though. Riley was thugging out here. Man, that's... That's... <laughs> Oh, wow, my God. Dude, Riley, I, I got a hundred for you. You can work for me, bro. <laughs> Man, I wish... I, Sorry, wish that, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I wish that... I wish me and her never fell out like that, bro. Because she was... She, she was working. talented, bro. I just seen it. And, and, and I just, really ain't even make no... I can't like, remember I who working when that was. Like that. I'm gonna tell you, bro. I was taking 20%. 20%, you know what I'm saying? That's standard type shit. But for what I was doing, bro, I really could have been taking 50. For real, for real. I'm really... In their videos every day, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like I was really working for not making as much. You know what I'm saying? I made more money by myself. But I be thinking about that, like, damn, bro, like she really was on the trajectory of getting more time. Like you know what I'm saying? Making millions of dollars. It's all good though. Yeah, but she probably would have been dating a little. Lit, nigga. Her ass probably would have been with Trey Young right now, nigga, vlogging and shit. That's crazy. <laughs> but, Riley, if you ever want to collab, man, we can do it, bro. It be like that, man. It happens. Um, would y'all ever do a podcast someday? And let me be honest. So, I, in January, I'm going to say January, beginning of January, me and this nigga talk. We were supposed to get together. We was coming up with names and all this other shit. And he was like, let's do it. And then the nigga went to Paris. And then I was like, all right, we go back to Paris. We gonna go. Then the nigga went somewhere else. And I'm like, all right. And then the nigga went somewhere else. I was like, all right, bet. So in March, I was like, no. And then February, Deshae was like, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, get the place in LA so we can do the podcast. And we had a whole commercial set up. Like how Kai ended up be doing their commercials. That nigga never fell through. And then it was just like kind of died. But I'm not gonna lie, the podcast was cool. I just hated waiting on people. We got yellow marked every video. Every podcast is yellow marked until they review it. And the money situation was kind of like high. It was kind of like difficult. So with, with the podcast, because you gotta, sometimes we ain't never pay nobody, but sometimes. Niggas don't want money, then you gotta take it out with what you make. But I feel like me and you would be better because I don't need the money that we would make. It just be like extra. Yeah. So I would do a podcast. It just have to be structured. Like every yeah, no, nah, we we did it. Like you and Deshae was thugging it. We have a whole staff behind that shit. Yeah, but then that take away from. I, I was just like, you're supposed to just show up. We not you're supposed to DM niggas like come be on the podcast. It's supposed to, we just supposed to show up, bro. That's how it's supposed to be. Cause we can't stop playing this out. Oh, he's saying like they would get people to actually come, you know. Niggas too, nigga. What I, what I heard about DJ Vlad is that this nigga don't be there. Nah, he was this last one. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm cool with Vlad. Like me and him was like homies and shit. Like, we were off camera, we were talking and shit. But when that camera came on, bro, that nigga got to ask me the most wildest shit I ever heard. I'm like, damn, bro, like, 
Hey, is we really homies, nigga? Or is bro, this that's like me, some, bro. Don't call me my shit, bro. I'm going to ask you the craziest question. That's the shit I'm talking about. Bro. You supposed to sweat before you ask that type of shit. That nigga was just... Yeah, but that's what I heard with podcasts now. Them niggas don't be there. They run out of the studio. One of the had things... A yeah, one of the things I did, he wasn't there. It was uh, this girl. But she cool, too. But nah, we... Nah, don't be there, though. Say cheese. Yeah, because I'm never there, bro. He, he he get on the, um, he be on Zoom. Like, I seen through, I can't remember. And he record himself on Zoom, the audio, remember. and then he sync it up, and he put it up. So he, that nigga never leave the crib, bro. I seen it through somebody's That's glasses crazy, before. I can't remember. And I was like, bro, is this nigga there? And it was like a, like, it was like a person was on the phone, and it was a mic by him. And I was like, damn, this nigga probably ain't there. That nigga say cheese ain't never there, boy. Man, say, that's any that's, aspiring that's, artist you trying to do an interview with say cheese, but he ain't gonna never meet that nigga, boy. That's brilliant, shit. Get that money easy. They <laughs> hard work. So I'll say cheese. All right, we're gonna answer one more question. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this, man. Um, you know, they the never sit down question, and really this ask. This is a question that question. everybody been asking, everybody wanted to know. Um, who got a bigger meat? What did he just ask just now? What? Oh, chill out. He got to chill out, man. That's crazy. But, uh, by that being said, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn that bell button on. And I'm going to catch y'all boys in that video. Y'all tell me what y'all think, bro. Um, I feel like T.O. need to have a sit down with DG, you know, and, you know, talk it out because I didn't date like he said, y'all cousins, bro. Y'all need to stop that, bro. I don't even think it was that deep either. But, um, yeah, them boys crazy. That is wild. DZZ, them never sit down and ask a question, bro. That was the first. They been open. And I, I fuck with the video, though. Okay. By the man said, that's the end of the video. Make sure I like, comment, subscribe, turn that bell button on. And catch y'all boys in the next video. We on the road to 1K. So pay attention. I need y'all to pay attention. Get y'all notebooks ready.